So we'll just come into center now and oh, let go of the day, any challenges you've had. Just allow your eyes to softly close. And sense your state of mind, your state of being right now, where you feel you're at, what might be going on with you if you feel like you've been rushing or working hard or um, efforting. Just see how your body's responding, how your mind is responding, just for a, a couple of breaths here. So tonight's focus will be around looking skyward or heavenward, looking up. So there's a couple things that happen when we look up, depending on exactly how we do that. I mean, there's where we are outdoors and we just look up at the sky. That can be inspirational inspiring, looking down in some philosophies represents um, heavy or uh, depression. And looking up is lighter and more inspiring. Okay, so that doesn't mean to look down is bad, but habitually or depending on what your mood is or your state of mind, um, it's just something to be aware of. So we're going to focus around that. The other thing that, that brings to mind is when you're looking up, you're looking up towards your third eye, your sixth chakra between your eyebrows in your forehead. So that also uh, initiates activity there and receptivity. We both transmit and receive through our third eye. So we'll just kind of play with all of that. Uh, as we work through our yoga poses. So as far as lifting skyward, we want to take the crown up towards the sky to elongate your spine, allowing for free energy flow. Good circulation. Notice any emotions that might be hanging around, ready to be acknowledged. And also your nervous system. And as always, we want to check in with our bodies and see what sensations we notice. So just kind of move around a little bit and see if you have any tight areas. 
or if you feel really loose after being out in the hot sun, everything kind of melts, including tension. So you might be just feeling really good. We'll take it. <laughs> All right. So we'll start with bringing palms in for our attunement to breath, um, hands in prayer. And let's look up. We'll just follow our hands as we breathe and lift up, looking skyward, and then opening out, exhale down. And repeat a few times, breathe. And one more round. And opening out to the side. OK. So we'll just make some circles, just rolling around on our hips. Hold on to your knees as you go to the back. Lift your chest, your ribs. Circle. Remember to breathe. And as you come forward, we'll reverse direction. This is the third time. So we'll come around to the front and just slide your hands forward. Let your hips relax. Shoulders, spider walk your fingertips forward. And then walk your hands in. We'll go around to the back. Fingertips, palms, knuckles, whatever works. Lift your chin, lift your heart. So we're looking up once again. Lifting your heart. Giving a little arch to your back. And then come back to center. So. To loosen up a little bit more in the spine, bring your feet out, knees vertical, and we'll work with some seated cat stretches. So just lift in your spine, take in your breath. Ah, exhale and round it out, chin to your chest. Inhale, scoop it forward, lift up. Either look to the ceiling or your third eye if you have your eyes closed. Rounded cat. Breathe. Arching cat. And then we'll come back to center. And we'll come up onto the balls of our feet and rock on our toes. Just bring your knees down towards the floor. Bring your knees closer and closer.
and then just set them on the floor for a moment and breathe arms up overhead look up into your palms and lower palms down over your heart center and bring your arms around to the back interlace fingers just open the chest and shoulders lift your arms up lift your chin your eyes look up and then release your hands bring arms up overhead interlace fingers turn them up and this time just look up into your palms and release bring your hands down onto the floor roll forward and let your toes out pat them on the floor and circle around in your ankles to loosen up reverse and flex in point you might hear some little crackles in there and then root your palms down into the earth and either hop or step back into plank pose stretch your heels back Now just let your hips come down. We'll come into upward facing dog. So bring the tops of your feet on the mat. Bring your chest through. Legs are engaged, so knees are straight. So your legs are up off the floor. Try to open your shoulders. Good. Roll up over your toes. And we'll come into downward facing dog. Just separate your feet as wide as your hip bones. And you can take your hips side to side. Now a nice way to loosen up in your calves is to lift up onto the balls of your feet to contract them a bit and then stretch your heels down. Pull shoulders back to your knees or towards your knees. <laughs> okay, now just bring your knees back down to the floor. Walk your hands in, lift. And take your left leg out to the side, toes forward. Get comfortable in your clothes here. And breathe your right arm up. Look up into your palm. And then as you come to the side, slide your hand down. So reach up, inhale, and exhale over. We'll go in and out a couple of times to loosen up. And then reach fingertips on your left hand towards your ankle and reach into a side stretch. Try to straighten your arms so you get a nice pull to lengthen in your ribs and your waist. And then look up under your arm. Now reach up with your right hand. Lower it down onto the floor. And then just bring your left arm next to your ear. So you're making pretty much a straight line from the outer edge of your left foot through your fingertips. Try to rotate shoulders and hips forward just for a nice alignment. And look up. Feeling inspired yet? <laughs> Thank you. 
Now we can play a little bit here. Press down on that left foot and your right hand. Reach through your fingertips and just lift that right leg up, cross it over top, and you've got an excellent side plank. Nice firm legs, core muscles, reach through your fingertips, wiggle your fingers, bring some energy into your fingers, and look up. And then release your top arm, bring your right knee back down, and we'll repeat all of that on the other side. Okay, so taking your right foot out, Right hand will slide along that leg. Try to keep in a, a even plane so that you could fit between two panes of glass. And breathe your left arm up, reach. And exhale over. Inhale up. Exhale over. Inhale. And come into your stretch, reach, straight arm, rotate the shoulders and the hips forward. Notice what that does to your stretch. Breathe and lengthen, exhale and bend. Look up. And then reach up through your fingertips, inhale, exhale. Just bring that left hand down onto the mat and breathe your right arm up next to your ear, making that straight line. Really plant your left palm into the mat, reach through your fingertips, rotate shoulders and hips forward. Press down on your right foot and your left palm and slide your leg out into your plank and reach and look up. And then just bring your hand down, let your knees down and We'll come back into a downward facing dog. Remember to activate your core muscles, pull up and in. Now, just come forward a little bit, bring your feet in, and we'll work on some hip openers. Squatting down, bringing your palms in, and then opening the hips, going side to side. And if you feel warmed up enough in your hips, we can come down into Malasana, Goddess Pose or Garland Pose, and press the knees open as you bring your thumbs in towards your heart center. Lengthen up through your crown. And just for this time, we've never done this before, I don't think since I've been teaching, look up. So ground your feet into the earth. Allow earth's energy to come up into the perineum, up through your spinal column, and shoot out the top of your head as you look up. 
and then release your hands. Just come over onto the right ball of your foot and stretch out your left leg with your heel up. I'm sorry, your heel down, toes up. <laughs> and just kind of work around where you feel the stretch. If you press down in the hip joint, you'll probably feel it right on the inner thigh, in the inner knee. And we'll switch sides, just bring that one in and come on over. See how it feels on this side. Now, just press down on your right foot and your palms, lift your hips, and slide your left foot out into a wide angle. Palms on the floor to support you. Tilt your hips up, taking a breath. And breathe again. Come up onto your fingertips, lift your chin. Lift your head up, lift your tailbone up, taking another breath, and exhale, stretch down into kind of a triangle. And fingertips, lift your chin, your crown, monkey pose, tilt your tailbone up, exhale down. All right, and then we'll walk our feet in and come in for head to knee pose. All right, so soften your knees. We'll come up into chair. Reach your arms back and swing your arms up next to your ears. Feet should be hip width apart. Reach up through your fingertips and relax down. Pull your tummy in and up as you lengthen in your spine. Then bring your palms together, overlap one thumb, Reach up and look up into your palms. Now bring your palms down over your heart. Just turn to your left and come down into a prayer twist in your chair pose. Come back to center, reach your arms up overhead, overlap one thumb again, reach, breathe. Exhale, palms over your heart and prayer twist on the other side. Press against your leg for leverage. See if you can twist enough to bring your thumbs to your heart center. and then come back to center. Push the floor away as you breathe and lift arms up overhead. Overlap one thumb once again, reach up. Engage legs and hips. Lift your ribs, lift your navel, and standing back bend. Keep reaching, elongate your spine. Look up. And come back to center. Bring your palms over your heart. Pause for just a moment. Notice if you've tightened up anywhere. Your jaw the pelvic floor. Oh. 
All right. Now softly open your eyes and just lift all of your toes up. Wiggle your toes, just wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> Set them down for a moment. And breathe and lift all your toes up. Stay tall. Now we're gonna set our toes down, starting at the pinky toe, one at a time. Pinky, second, third, fourth, and big toe. Again, lift. Pinky, second, separate your toes out. Third, fourth, can you feel them? Can you separate them down? And big toe, not big foot, big toe. <laughs> All right. Now just step towards the front end of your mat. We'll come into our warrior one. Toes forward, taking your breath. And soften your knees. Slide your left foot back into warrior one leg. So the heel is up. And just loosen up a little bit more. So breathe in. Exhale out. Whoops. Breathe it in. Exhale out. Breathe in. Exhale out, check your hip bones, check your ribs, lift, shoulders forward, palms together. And let's use our Kali Mudra for this one as we look up. So interlace fingers except for your index finger, thumbs are side by side. Breathe and lift, arms up, squeeze your ears and gaze upward. You don't have to look all the way up to the ceiling, just gaze upward. Now, if you can, lift up and back in your torso. Now bring palms down. We'll come into another prayer twist, this time instead of chair in our warrior one. So coming over to the side, Elbow outside the leg, if it'll come. Now just bring your left hand down onto the floor and lift up into a twist. Lift your right arm up. Look up. Bring your hand back down. Pull back a little bit, step it in, and breathe arms up overhead. Reach and palms together down over your heart center. Take in another breath. Soften both knees and slide your right leg back into warrior one legs. Uh, check your alignment, hips and shoulders, and loosen up a little bit more. And come into your warrior one. Kali Mudra with your index fingers pointing up. And reach, squeeze your ears, warrior one. Lift up and back, a slight gaze upward. And then palms together over your heart, prayer twist to the other side. Okay, this side is giving me a little challenge tonight. There we go.
Now bring your right hand down inside the left foot and reach up with your left arm into your twist. And then bring your hand down, whoops. And pull back a little bit, step it in. Come in for head to knee pose. Take in your breath, lengthen, exhale down over your legs. And then lift, reverse swan, arms out to the side, lift. Coming up and back. Good. Now a little thigh stretch here. So take in your breath. Get comfortable in your clothes if you need to. And then shift the weight over onto your right foot. Bring your left knee in and focus on a spot. and just stretch your knee down to the floor and back to the wall behind you. Open the chest, root down in the supporting leg. You can add to the stretch by pressing the hip bone forward. So as you pull your knee down and back, see if I can get back into it here. As you pull your knee back, press your hip forward, and that will give you that stretch right down the thigh, okay? So we'll come out of that one. Take in your breath and shift the weight over onto your left foot and come in. Focus on your spot so you can anchor your vision. Press the hip forward as you draw the knee back. Great, okay. Standing twist, just in the center of your mat, separate your feet. and back to center. Okay, so a little bit more of a side stretch to lengthen in our ribs, in our waist, in our spine. So just, um, well here, press your hand onto your hip bone, your palm, but keep your elbow forward. So you want your elbow in line with your shoulder and your wrist. Okay, so keep that forward. That's gonna support you in your side stretch. So breathe up with your right arm, reach. Exhale, engage your hips and legs and come over to the side. Press on that palm, on the bone, elbow forward. And it's easy peasy for that stretch. Just keep lengthening through your fingertips. Look up under your arm. So you're pressing on that palm, elbow is forward, so it's a complete support for your torso. So you can just keep leaning over to the side. This gets down into the iliacus, the inside of your hip bone. And then push down through your feet and reach up slowly. Come up and release. Good. Okay, press on your other hip and draw your elbow forward so it's in line with your shoulder and your wrist. Reach up through the left hand. Inhale, reach. Root down through your feet. 
Lift again, reach a little further. Breathe. Exhale, press on your palm on the hip and come over to the side, relaxing all of this. Relaxing, stretching, and look up under your arm. Keep pressing your palm on the hip bone for support and relax your left side. And then press down through your feet, reach up through your fingertips and lower down. Okay, let's come down sitting on the mat for a little bit more of a twist. We had a little twist earlier, but this time we'll come into a, a greater expression of our twist. So just bring your right foot in. If you bring your knee straight out from the hip, you might have an easier time, but you can bring the left foot either to the front of your knee, beyond your knee, or bring it back by your thigh. Just make sure your heel is out of the way so you can get both sitting bones down on the mat. And lift up through your crown. Draw your knee on the diagonal towards the opposite shoulder. Let your hips relax into this position. So hold on with your right hand and scoop your left hand forward. Breathe it up and back using your right arm for leverage as you pull around into your twist. Look over your shoulder. Now press down through your sitting bones and lift in your crown and breathe your left arm up towards your ear and then unwind from your twist. All right, so we wanna pick up this leg to rock the baby. So just lift your foot. You can hold on to the ankle if you want. Let the knee go out if, if it will and just rock side to side, loosen up. Okay, now let's go to the next step and see if our bodies will uh, cooperate with us. Bring the foot into the bend of your elbow and then wrap your other arm around your leg and rock your baby. Flex the foot on, on the bent knee on the baby. So you want to lift up in your spine and draw your leg in towards you, not leaning down towards your leg. So you're getting that stretch in your hip joint. Okay, so we're going to let this baby out. And we're going to switch legs. So bring your left foot in, knee out from the hip, if possible, lift up in your crown, and bring the right leg to wherever is the best position for you. That might be in front of the knee or just beyond the knee or back by the thigh. 
both sitting bones on the mat, lift, and just draw your knee in for a stretch for that hip and the, the hip joint. Okay, so holding on for leverage with your left hand, scoop your right arm out and breathe it up as you lift in your crown as well. Reach up, hold on, and pull right around into your twist. Bring your hand down close to your hip so you can use that arm for a backrest. Look over your shoulder. You can get a little tiny bit more stretch in your twist if you draw your tummy in. Okay, now coming back out, press down in your sitting bones, and breathe your right arm up to your ear, and unwind, coming to the front. And then picking up your baby, Hold on. Flex the foot on that right side. And then see if your leg will accommodate you into a deeper stretch. Side to side, flex the foot. Just rocking your baby. All right, now just let both legs out, just stretch them out. And palms behind you, just roll your hips side to side. Letting everything be loose and free. Okay. And then just align on your mat. So let's use our abdominal muscles as we come down. Rolling your hips under. Contract in your abdominal muscles. And each piece of your spine, roll it onto the mat. And then the back of your head. Now make sure your hips are rolled under. If you need to adjust, that's fine. Then shoulder blades rolled under, turn your palms up. Feet are separated. If your shoulders are kind of on the tight side, just from years of stress, take your arms out a little bit further and bend your elbow just a little bit and pull it forward so that your shoulders open. Then when you relax in an open position, they're more likely to stay relaxed when you are upright. So just visualize for a moment or two using your imagination just see a blue sky above your head.
You can put some cotton ball like fluffy clouds there if you want or if you like just that beautiful blue sky. You can bathe in that color as though you've taken your body up into the sky and it's like an ocean of blue, blue air rather than blue ocean. But it's like bathing in the universal blueprint for the color blue. Let your body relax, your jaw, your chin. Let your body sink down. As you raise yourself into the sky. Notice the stillness as you float in the sky.
Now become aware of the stillness within you, your whole body, your mind. Relaxed and still. Just for a moment, look up into your third eye. And breathe that blue sky in through your crown chakra at the top of your head and let it exit out your third eye. And repeat a couple times, just breathing blue. You can make it indigo blue if you wish. It is the color of that chakra. And push it out through your third eye. And then just move your hands a little bit, squeezing fingers in and out. Wiggling toes and circling in your ankles. Just bring your feet onto the floor and take your knees side to side once or twice. And then eventually just roll over onto one side and roll up into sitting. So there's a grounding mudra which is nice to do after you've been blissed out for a while. Your left hand will stay in your lap, but your right hand, you'll take your two fingers, like if you were a Boy Scout, <laughs> just two fingers, and you press them down. You just stretch your arm out and press those two fingers down on the earth. And you have your thumb over your ring and pinky fingers. So this will seal in the benefits of your yoga practice tonight. And then bring palms back into Anjali Mudra. Just remember Pima Chodron's Quotation, she's a Buddhist nun. You are the sky. Everything else is just weather. You are the sky. All else is just weather. So may your skies remain clear and sunny. <laughs> Namaste, everybody. Thank you for being here, letting me share yoga with you. Thank you.